Today we are looking at a 4R70W transmission. The condition that we're looking into is a neutraling going down the road. That is more than likely a 3-4 flare or 3-4 neutral condition. And generally what causes this is the band does not apply but the forward clutch releases. Which means that the signal was given to make the 3-4 shift and everything in the valve body and all that did what it was supposed to but something mechanical has happened. So we suspect that the snap ring on the overdrive servo has broken, and so we're gonna drop the pan and take a look inside there and see if we're correct. When the condition happens going down the road, um, there is an overdrive cancel button. If you hit the overdrive cancel button to turn the light on and it goes back in the gear, that's just uh, another way of knowing that it really neutraled on the 3-4 shift and not something else happened. Because we didn't find the servo uh, for the overdrive band laying on top of the valve body or come down with the valve body, uh, there looks like the snap ring is still up in the case. Uh, we're gonna take a look inside the valve body and see if we can find uh, any reason in the valve body for it to uh, do what it's doing. Well, here's something interesting. It looks like our overdrive servo regulator valve may be stuck towards the, the bore plug. This valve is supposed to be seated back here. You can see the valve here clearly, but there's no valve here. So I believe we may have found why we have no overdrive. It looks like there's something in there. Let's see if we can remove this plug. We have a piece of a broken snap ring. Let's go back and take another look at that snap ring up in the case there. That looked like it was the good end of the snap ring, but that's broken. The other piece came off of this end over here. This opening allows that piece of broken snap ring to pass into this area and lay on top of the valve body. Okay, this is the plate that is sitting right up underneath the overdrive servo and see this little notch in here okay it points to an area on the gasket you can see there's a void in this ga uh, in the impression in this gasket and that goes into this area here and this is the hole in the separator plate that that little piece passed through so if i leave that in there and lift this up hopefully we'll be able to tell what passageway it goes in so you can see where my pick goes and it goes into this area here and somehow or another that piece managed to get around and drop right in there and block my valve that is incredible how that happens so for the overdrive servo there is a tool this one happens to be made by OTC it's a 307-251 and the purpose of this tool is to allow you to put the tool up to the case and we will be able to compress or push the servo apply pin upwards into the case relieving the pressure off of that snap ring. We don't have a broken band because I am able to get uh, some pressure on that pin there. If we look up close here, we can see where the two ends of this snap ring have broken off. What's happened here is that I don't have anything for a snap ring pliers to grab a hold of. Um, I also do not have any way of getting something behind the snap ring because of the way it's broken. So uh, we're going to leave what's left of this snap ring in the case. In the end, uh, we took the, the route of fix exactly what we saw was wrong with it. We left the snap ring in. Um, the customer knows about it and is very well aware that if it does start to act up again, that we may have to go back in there and see if we can get the rest of that snap ring out, unless, of course, it breaks up completely. We did our research and we discovered that uh, the snap ring that holds the overdrive servo is notorious for breaking up. 
Uh, the snap ring did break, but it didn't completely shatter like some of them are known to do. When we lowered the valve body down, the servo still remained in place, so we didn't have to deal with the fact that if it had fallen down, uh, we would have had to have relocated the uh, van pin on the van. So now that we've oiled up the truck and we road tested it, we now have a successful 3-4 shift without the neutral condition. We let it sit overnight and we re-road tested it and everything is working fine. So the torque held up on our valve body bolts. There you have it, another edition of Ray's Garage.